Welcome to ChemHelp ASAP. Let's talk about the regiochemistry of the Diels-Alder reaction. Looking to the left of the screen, the diene and dienophile of the Diels-Alder reaction often bear R groups. R groups on the diene are generally electron donating groups. EDGs include things like alkyl, amino, and oxy groups. R groups on the dienophile tend to be electron withdrawing groups. Those are carbonyls, nitros, and nitriles. An R group on the diene can go on either an end or a middle carbon. Of course, more than one R group is possible, but let's just have one for now. Moving more to the middle, let's look at having the R group on the end of the, al of the diene. If this reacts with a dienophile, then we have two possible outcomes. So let's draw the mechanism. The mechanism shown would give this product, and there's another possible isomer that could form that would be that compound. So moving to the bottom of the screen, if the R group is on a middle carbon of the diene, we again have two possible outcomes. Here is the mechanism. The mechanism shown would give this particular regioisomer, and if we flipped over the diene, dienophile, excuse me, we could get that particular regioisomer. These products have names based on the relative position of the two R groups on the ring. On the top line, we call this the 1, 2 product, and this where the groups are 1, 3, we call that the 1, 3 product. On the bottom line, this would, the first one would be an example of a 1, 3 product. And on the bottom line, the second product, second regioisomer, would be a 1, 4 product. By the way, do not call these ortho, meta, or para isomers because these are not benzene rings. As it turns out, on the top, the 1, 2 product is favored. On the bottom, 1, 4 is favored. Let's see how this works. On the screen, we have a diene and dienophile doing a cycloaddition. We're going to show both options on one diene and dienophile pair. The diene it has an electron donating group. The dienophile has an electron withdrawing group. Formation of the 1, 2 product is shown on top. The 1, 3 product is shown on the bottom. We know the 1, 2 product is favored. Why? Is this a steric effect? No, it's an electronic effect. The electron donating group is electron rich. What charge do we associate with electron rich things? Negative. Let's put a minus next to our EDG. To be clear, this minus is not a formal charge. We're just keeping track of where electron density is high. With resonance, charges tend to flip on adjacent carbons. So let's start with our EDG and its negative charge and alternate charges through the diene. Let's do the same on the dienophile. We have an EWG, electron poor, so a positive charge. Alternate charges away. Now we've set our imaginary charges. On the top line, the reaction lines up opposite charges on the diene and dienophile. The positive to negative and the negative to positive. This is favorable. The 1, 2 product is favored. If we go through the same steps on the bottom line, EDG is negative. Give our charges. EWG is positive. Give our charges. You can see the bottom pathway tries to place negative with negative. That's bad. And positive with positive. The 1, 3 product is disfavored. That's how you can quickly predict regiochemistry in the Diels-Alder reaction. Identify the R groups as EWGs or EDGs, assign imaginary charges, and then line up the ends so that the plus matches minus and minus matches plus.